As part of President Joe Biden's major initiative to interact with the second largest continent in the world, Linda Thomas Greenfield, the U.S. Ambassador to the UN, is the second member of the cabinet to go to Africa. She will visit Ghana, Mozambique, and Kenya starting on January 25th. The U.S. mission to the UN set on Sunday. The goal of the trip is to solidify and expand relationships with significant current and past UN Security Council members. Thomas Greenfield, who has a long history of working on African issues, is set to embark on a multi-country trip to engage with leaders and discuss ways to deepen cooperation between the U.S. and Africa. The trip will focus on issues such as economic development, security, and democracy. Following the commencement of Janet Yellen's 10-day trip to Africa last week, Thomas Greenfield is currently the next cabinet member of Biden's administration on the continent. Yellen landed in Dakar, Senegal late on Wednesday and will also travel to South Africa and Zambia. President Biden made the announcement that he will travel to Sub-Saharan Africa in 2023 at the conclusion of a U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit in December. This would be the first visit to the area by a U.S. leader in 10 years. The conference and trip are designed to strengthen U.S. ties with Africa, where China has surpassed the U.S. in commerce and seeks to expand its military footprint, and where Russia has military links with the Central African Republic and Mali government. At the recently held U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit, Biden emphasized that he is serious about drawing more U.S. attention to the continent and reminded the 49 African leaders in attendance that Africa belongs at the table in all discussions that have an impact on the world. In a statement, Ambassador Thomas Greenfield said, I am honored to be leading this important mission to Africa. The United States has a deep and enduring partnership with the continent and I am committed to working closely with our African partners to strengthen that partnership and build a brighter future for all our citizens. Ghana, which is in the second year of a two-year tenure as an elected member of the Security Council, is the first stop for Thomas Greenfield, who is also a former U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Africa. According to the U.S. mission, she will meet with female leaders and members of civil society on January 25th. Thomas Greenfield then travels to Mozambique, where the country's first-ever two-year council term is just getting underway. The U.S. Embassy says she will meet with U.N. officials, business people, former participants in U.S. exchange programs, students studying international relations, and representatives of the civil society working to adapt to climate change during her visit on January 26 and 27. Kenya whose two-year stint on the council concluded on December 31st, will be the ambassador's last trip on January 28th and 29th. The U.S. mission referred to Kenya as a key partner and stated that Ambassador Greenfield would be focused on humanitarian initiatives, such as the regional response to the drought and aid for refugees, as well as the ongoing effects of Russia's war against Ukraine on global food security, which have aggravated the humanitarian crisis in the area. According to the mission, the ambassador will also meet refugees who are awaiting resettlement in the U.S. and Kenyan business leaders who are guiding the nation's transition to a green economy. This trip by Ambassador Linda Thomas-Greenfield is an indication of President Biden's new administration's focus on Africa and willingness to work with the continent. The U.S.-Africa relationship has been a bit cold in recent years, with some African countries feeling that the previous administration didn't give much attention to their continent. Hopefully, a new dawn emerges. If you enjoyed this video, do check out our next one which looks at U.S. Treasury Secretary Yellen visiting Africa as Joe Biden fights back against Beijing expansion. Be sure to like both videos, comment, share and subscribe to the new Africa channel for more informative videos.